This weekend, a chance to honor those that have served our country. Today, the Marine Corps celebrates its 248th birthday. We officially recognize Veterans Day tomorrow, but already we are taking time to honor our veterans today. Your reporter in Aurora, Michael Beta, shows us how some came out today to help former service members. Just a year or so ago, I would be standing in the middle of an underutilized pool at this apartment complex in Aurora. But now, thanks to all of these volunteers, it's something much more useful for the people who live here. From the D to the A to the DDY, single daddy. This is Danell McNeil, also known as. You might find me in the bargain bin at one of your local record stores. He had a radio hit in the early 90s when he was in the Air Force. He says he always loved making music, but it was his time in the service that taught him how to be successful. It taught me leadership. It taught me how to stand as a young man. Since then, he's released a few more singles, but eventually ended up homeless and sleeping in his car. Life throws you curveballs, but it's how you get up. He had a little help from Community Solutions. They rent apartments to homeless veterans. Danelle rents one and says he is very grateful. I can stick the key in the building, walk up the steps, go into my apartment and shut the door and be thankful to the Lord that I've got a place for myself. Friday, with help from the Home Depot, Community Solutions is giving the veterans they house even more. They're turning an old filled-in pool into a community space. It just made it really thankful to be able to, to participate in something like this. I think it's an encouragement for those that have maybe fallen in some aspects to get back up. Danelle says he hopes the improvements will inspire Aurora. And he says now, just maybe, the risky lover might make a comeback as well. I won't give up. And with all these people building stuff right here, putting stuff together, you don't give up either. In addition to these chairs and garden beds, they're also going to build a pergola to provide some shade for this area so that way it can be a relaxing space for those veterans who have given everything for this country. In Aurora, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. Just awesome. Michael, love that story. Events are planned tomorrow across Colorado to honor our veterans starting at 9 in the morning. Denver hosting a run, parade, and festival at City Park. At 11 11 in the morning in Loveland, there will be an annual bell ringing tradition parade and a ceremony. And in Douglas County, you can look for a Veterans Day ceremony. It'll be held at the Veterans Monument Plaza there in Castle Rock.